In this video, let us solve problems based on discrete frequency distribution. The question goes like this. Given below are the ages of 25 students of class 9 in a school. Prepare a discrete frequency distribution. Now, these are the ages of 25 students of class 9. Now, let us follow the steps that we discussed in the previous video and construct a discrete frequency distribution. First, we need to obtain the raw data which is here and then we need to construct three columns which has to accommodate the variables under study here that is the ages of 25 students and then the second one to count the number of times these appear and then the third one is to write down the number of exact times that we've counted it in the second column. So let's do that now. We've got age, we've got tally marks, then we've got frequency. So under age, we need to write the variables under study here in the ascending order. So we've got 15, 16, 14, 17, and yeah, that's all. So we've got the lowest is 14, so 14, 15, 16, and 17. Now let us draw a table. The first one is 15, so opposite to 15, let us write one bar. The second one is 16, so opposite to 16, one more. Then 16, so another bar opposite to 16. We've then got 14, so one bar opposite to 14. 17, so one bar opposite to 17. Another 17, so another bar opposite to 17. 16, so another bar opposite to 16. 15, so a bar opposite to 15. Another 15, so another bar opposite to 15. 16, a bar opposite to 16. Another one, so this is going to be the fifth one. Let us draw this diagonally across the four things. So this counts as five. Now we've got 17, so let us draw one bar opposite to 17. We've got 15, one bar opposite to 15. 16 another one opposite to 16 now let us leave some amount of space so that we can count this as 5 and then so on it will be much easier for us when we have another 16 so one more bar opposite to 16 then we've got 14 so one bar opposite to 14 then another 16 so another bar opposite to 16 then we've got a 15 so the fifth one we're going to draw a diagonal and then we've got 14 opposite to 14 then we've got 15 opposite to 15 we've got 16 opposite to 16 another one so diagonal another 15 here it is 14 here 15 here and we are done the frequency of 14 or counting the tally marks here we've got 4 so the frequency of 14 is 4 the frequency of 15 is 5 plus 3 8 frequency of 16 is 5 plus 5 10 the frequency of 17 is just 3 so, one more that we need to have is called as the total, which confirms or clarifies our construction of discrete frequency distribution because the total number of students mentioned in the question is 25. And when you add the frequency, you get 25, which confirms that what we've done is correct. So, this is how we need to construct a discrete frequency distribution. Let us quickly solve another problem which is similar to this. So here we have another question. Form a discrete frequency distribution from the following scores. These are the following scores. Now, let us write the first column as variate because it is varying. These are just scores. We have no specific subjects like the last problem we had the age of 25 students but these are just scores. So I'll take it as variate and then we've got the tally marks then as usual we've got the frequency so the variate goes like this so we've got various numbers the lowest being 15 and the highest being 30 in between we've got 15 16 18 20 24 25 27 28 29 and 30 we don't have any more numbers so let us list them down in ascending order. So let us now count. We first have got 15, so 1 opposite to 15. Then we've got 18, so 1 more opposite to 18. 
16, opposite to 16, 20, opposite to 20, 25, opposite to 25, 24, opposite to 24, one more 25, we've got a 120, we've got a 16, we've got a 15, we've got an 18, we've got another 18, we've got another 16, we've got another 24, we've got another 15, we've got another 20, we've got another, the first 28 is here, and the first 30, the first 27, another 16, another 24, another 25, another 20, another 18, another 28, another 27, another 25, another 24, another 24, the first number to get a 5, and then we've got another 18, gets a 5, another 18, first number to get a 6, then we've got another 25, and one more 5 here, then another 20, another 5, we've got another 16, one more group of 5, another 15, another 20, another 27, another 28, the first 29, and the last number being 16, another 1. So the frequency being for 15, 4, and then we've got 6 for 16, 6 for 18, we've got 6 for 20, and then we've got a 5 for 24, 5 for 25, 3 for 27, 3 for 28, 1 for 29, and 1 for 30. So here it is. So the total is 4 plus 6, 10, 10 plus 6, 16, 16 plus 6, 22, 22 plus 5, 27, 27 plus 5, 32, 32 plus 3, 35, 35 plus 3, 38, plus 139 plus 140. So we've got 40 here, and the total number of the scores is also 40. So the total is 40. So this is the way we construct a discrete frequency distribution. This ends the video about discrete frequency distribution. The forthcoming videos let us see how do we construct a grouped frequency distribution.